Hi, I'm Ryan Geelan. I produce and directed Drinking Games, and we get a lot of questions about the cinematography of Drinking Games. So I just wanted to cut together a few videos that showed off some of my favorite camera moves from the film and kind of discuss the motivation behind them. I hope this is helpful. I know what you want, but the world doesn't wait for you. You don't get to say when. So this is a fun one. This is a 70 foot dolly shot uh, mixed with a couple of sort of basic tripod shots and uh, some indoor snow. We get to see a lot of the film from Richard's perspective, but I wanted a window into Melanie as well. The film is about people in college growing out of their pasts and how painful or impossible that can be or how liberating. One of the reasons that she is so connected to Richard is that she has suffered serious loss in her life already. As a young girl, she watched her sister drown in a frozen lake back in Germany. Losing Richard is rekindling all those feelings of guilt and sadness and loss. Losing your first love can be painful for anyone. And I wanted to show why losing Richard would be even more painful for Melanie. Melanie doesn't step into a hallway as much as we step into Melanie's mind. The shift in perspective and tone is a digression, but it's also a step sideways into a character's subconscious. We could have done this in a scene where she tells someone this story and we see the other person's reaction of horror or sadness or empathy. To me, it was a lot more interesting to just sort of take a big leap instead of a small one. And the big leap is, and I hope the audience came with us, Hey, we're just going to jump into Melanie's mind for a minute. We're going to have her break the fourth wall and talk directly to the camera. Hopefully that will not only allow us to look back at what we've seen a little bit differently, but it will set us up to be a little more invested in what comes next, which is not good for Melanie or for Richard. Interesting side note, uh, Ricarda Albrecht is the actress playing Melanie. And Melanie was not originally written as a German, but when Ricarda came in and auditioned, she had everything we were looking for and then some. She was when two plus two equals five. There just was something there that no other actor for that part could bring. So we did some rewriting to make her accent make sense. I guess the lesson there is be flexible, be open to uh, great artists when they cross your path. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below or you can shoot me an email at ryan at believeltd.com. Thanks.